This is a complete guide to everything you're going to need to know for Dukes of Sellers to be able to do 5 to 10 kills per trip. And all you're going to need is your best melee gear with the arc light, a stamina, a pestle and mortar, some icy basalt or the ring of shadows if you have the teleport straight to the boss, some brews and some restores. When you come in, go up either staircase and be careful not to stand on any of the shadows and wait before the three faces. They do a large AoE spell that you want to avoid, so you just wait and you'll see that all three of them do the AoE spell in a short space of time and then there's a large gap where you can run through to the other side. Once you get to the other side, you just want to pick two mushrooms and then use them on your pestle and mortar. Wait for the phases to do the AoE spells again and then run back to the start. Run up the other side and do the exact same thing, getting another two mushrooms from this side and also using them with the pestle and mortar. Once you have them, get a pickaxe from the wall just near the start. Towards the boss you'll see two salt deposits, you can mine either one and you just need to get 12 salt from those. Once you have all of that, click on the vats near the staircase to fill both of them and then once it's ready, collect a vial from each one. Pot up and use both vials on the boss to start the encounter. For this fight you're going to want to stay in melee distance as often as possible and step one square away when the boss does its melee attack. Now the boss decides what attack it's going to do one tick before the attack happens. And if you're stood in melee range it will always do a melee attack. But if you're not stood in melee range it will always do a magic attack. Which is why it's important to stay as close to the boss as possible until the time that you need to move away. After you move away you just move straight back. To get into cycle once you've started the boss you'll see it open its mouth and then after a little while it slowly closes it. Just as it shuts its mouth completely that's when you want to step away for the first time. As soon as you see the attack go off you can step back in and start attacking again and 5 ticks later the same will happen. Every time you just need to step away for 1 tick and then you can move straight back in and start attacking again. You want to position yourself at the very corner of the boss because he does certain special attacks throughout the fight. On the 6th attack the boss will do a special attack in which an eye and some shadows will appear on your screen and you just want to stay behind the pillar. It's important to position yourself near the pillar before this happens. To get back into cycle after this happens, as soon as you see the shadow starting to fade, attack the boss and then move one square back straight away. This time his fourth attack will be a poisonous cloud and he puts it on the nearest grid to you. So in this phase I like to move over towards the middle at the start, just so he puts it there and I can get back to the pillar. Three attacks later he will do another special and again you stand by the pillar and as soon as you see that step in, attack him and step away to get back into cycle again. This repeats itself until he's down to below half health. And once below half health he changes his cycle slightly. The first attack is a normal attack but then the second one is poison. And he'll also do two poisonous clouds. So after the second time you hit the boss you want to run all the way to the other side of it. Once you get to the other side of the boss just step away from the next melee attack and you're back in cycle again. And finally once the boss gets down below a quarter health it attacks every four ticks instead of every five ticks. The timing of this boss is a little bit of a pain to learn, but after you have it down, you can do this boss with hardly any food, getting around 5 to 10 kills per trip. The only other things to be careful of is when the boss reaches half health and a quarter health and it changes rotations, it can throw out a poisonous cloud unexpectedly. And whilst you're learning it, if you do get stuck, put protection from mage on, hide behind a pillar and just top up your health until you can get back into cycle with it. And this is a complete kill from scratch.